Hello everyone, this is Felix from GM Wolf, and we're back in Game Maker Studio 2 because today I want to talk about the differences uh, that have been made in GML. That's right, there have been um, a couple additions, actually quite a few additions to the Game Maker language, uh, as well as uh, a couple changes made to the current, uh, current systems. Now the first one you're going to notice is that instance underscore create no longer exists. Uh, instead, we now have instance create depth and instance create layer. So why, first of all, was this change made? Well, this comes from the fact that objects no longer have a set depth. Only instances do. And that's simply because it wasn't that nice of a system uh, to actually have individual objects with depths. So you would end up uh, always uh, changing your... Uh, you would always uh, try to guess what the number should be for your object depending on all your other objects putting in magic numbers to finally get the correct depth and get the drawing correct. Uh, so they introduced layers uh, which I already explained in my room video and so now you can create your instance on a particular layer so you can give it a name or an ID so um, it first takes the X and Y positions then the ID or name, I think uh, the ID would maybe use a lot if it's an instance layer, for example. That, and finally, the object. Uh, and I have, uh, let's see what I have in this project. It could be a object. Because, uh, and uh, we also have instance create depth. Now this is if you don't want to create it on a particular layer. And so you can give it the X and Y coordinates along with some depth and the object. Now this is um, okay, it works, however it's strongly discouraged uh, that you use it because it kind of uh, goes against this new philosophy of using layers and uh, every time you create an object at a different depth it will essentially create a new layer with its own batch and, uh, and everything and it's not the fastest system. Uh, so this is um, how creating instances have changed. There also have been a couple other differences to do with views because they don't actually exist anymore. Instead, we have camera functions. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see here, there's quite a few and they allow you to do a huge amount of things. Views are no longer just indices that come from a, uh, from a room. Now their cameras are actual uh, data structures in a sense. They're actual uh, objects you can create. So I can say, for example, uh, cam, cam equals camera create. And then any subsequent camera, uh, camera functions I want to use, such as camera, uh, let's see, camera get UX, for example, I, could, I will have to pass in the camera I just created. Now, this is really nice because you're no longer limited to uh, whatever the old number of views were, it also gives you a lot more control. So you can set up things uh, like projection matrices, which is great for 3D. Uh, actually, if I bring up all the different functions, uh, you can see you can set, uh, you can make them active or inactive, get all the borders, most of the basic view things, as well as uh, speeds, uh, targets, which is a uh, the target, the, the object will track <coughs> some borders, and you may find these update scripts. Now that is something that um, apparently Game Maker is trying to incorporate more into the engine now, and is the ability to set update scripts, begin scripts, and end scripts, which are in a way a way to for the engine to call your scripts based uh, on something else than just events. <coughs> So, for example, the update script here, um, if I put cam and then I could maybe put a CR test, this will mean that it will try to run uh, the, well, it will run the script SCR test just before drawing the camera in order to update it. This uh, is great if you need to perhaps move the camera around, maybe move some other things based on the, on the camera. Uh, there's really no limit to uh, what you can do with it. And uh, well, I thought of cameras, we have a couple other things such as layer underscore uh, script begin and layer script end. 
these are similar in a way as they will get cold uh, before and after the um, the layer starts being drawn and after it. So you can use that perhaps to set uh, shaders, though there is actually something else to do that. Perhaps you want to um, uh, disable some objects. Uh, there's a the, it may not seem very clear at first what you can do with those, but it's actually quite a powerful idea. Now about those uh, shaders I was talking about, you actually have layer underscore uh, shader, which allows you to set a shader for a certain layer, which is absolutely great because you don't you don't have to think about drawing to a surface and then calling your shader and so on. Uh, Game Maker will handle all of that for you, which is absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, if you are, if you really struggled using shaders before because you weren't quite sure how to use all the different sh uh, all the different surfaces and all that, uh, you don't have to worry anymore. Uh, just call layer shader and uh, give it a layer ID followed by uh, an actual shader, and it will automatically apply that shader to that layer. So uh, perhaps you have a background you want it on, and so on. Now I'm not entirely sure what you want to, what to do if you want to set up a group. Perhaps there is a way to set up as a uh, from one of your folders. Uh, maybe there is a. I'm not entirely sure about that, but no, there isn't. Um, so yes, uh, I you can do that to set it to one layer. I'm not too sure what you would do if you want to set it to more than one layer at the same time. Um, perhaps there is a way. Uh, if you do know, let me know in the comments. So other changes that have been made include uh, all the tile functions and so on. Uh, so these are not really changes, well I guess they are changes in the way that tiles not work differently, but I want to say that tiles were completely removed and a new system was added because they work quite differently. And uh, well, there are so many things to go about explaining tiles that I'll probably make a separate video about them sometime uh, in the future, explaining exactly how you can use them, create them, and uh, change them in code, including perhaps how you can collide with them. Now, uh, this is actually the same with cameras. I know I didn't explain very much what they do, but it is such a huge update, there is no way I can uh, fit it in in this video. Now, these are kind of the major changes you may notice whilst you make your game. However, there are quite a few other interesting changes, such as the add addition of macros. So if you type macro like so at the start uh, of your line, you can then define your macros. So I could have, for example, macro, um, I don't know, width. Uh, perhaps you want to set a constant width for things and then 54. And now I have a width variable I can refer to anywhere uh, and it will have the value 54. So um, the uses for this uh, range from uh, having uh, constant values for different objects for different states and so on all the way to uh, having uh, some uh, kind of test values. Uh, perhaps you have uh, empty values you want to use to fill up your array and uh, you may want to use minus one to start off with. Uh, instead of filling your code with all these uh, minus ones, you may find out that uh, changing it, uh, that using a macro in case you want to change it is a lot nicer. So. Uh, macros are a thing. They kind of replace what we used to have, uh, which were uh, they were called. Uh, they were perhaps they were changed to name to macro as well. But earlier on, they were called constants or something like that. So now we have a way to write them in code rather than using the little editor, which was always a pain. So these are the major changes in GML. Uh, I probably missed a lot since this is a massive update. But I just wanted to show you the. The basics, uh, the basic idea of what changed is uh, uh, there's a huge change to the way instances are handled. Uh, views are a huge update because, well, now there are cameras. Uh, layers are also a huge update, which uh, allow you to do quite a few things. Uh, one of them being setting begin and end scripts. And finally, um, the tile system has a huge overhaul and actually adds a huge number of methods. So uh, let me know what you think of those changes. Don't worry, I will be making more videos 
uh, about all of the different changes, including the ones I did not cover, did not mention here. So make sure you subscribe to see more of those. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Game Maker tutorials.